January 11, 2016, Glendale, along with Mini Valley Partners, will host the 2016 College Football National Championship game. Now, this is the granddaddy of them all, the pinnacle of what every division football team aspires to achieve when their season begins. Our purpose today is twofold. First, public safety is, I want to make this clear, public safety is our first and top priority in Glendale, and I know it's also a top priority for the cities and agencies across the valley that are represented here today. Fans attending the 2016 College Football National Championship expect a high level of cooperation and coordination among various safety organizations. Today you can see from the group of professionals standing with me we have exactly that cooperation. And secondly, I want to recognize and thank those very agencies who have been working together for months on this iconic event. From the moment a visitor steps foot in Arizona, whether they're arriving at one of our many airports around the valley or in their vehicle, it's a collective mission that they feel welcome and safe. Our public safety agencies at all levels, local, county, state, and national are affected when you host an event of this magnitude. On behalf of the City of Glendale and all of our partners in the 2016 College Football National Championship, thank you again for your leadership and your cooperation. Uh, Glendale has become a world-class sports destination thanks in part to the University of Phoenix Stadium and the many organizations it takes to host an event of this caliber. As many of you know, because of the state of art facility uh, right behind me, we've hosted two Super Bowls, the Pro Bowl, nine Fiesta Bowls, including two BCS championships, WrestleMania, international soccer matches, concerts, and of course our home team, the NFL Arizona Cardinals, for each of their home games since 2006, soon to be Super Bowl champs. I just threw that in, that really wasn't in there. <laughs> our public safety agencies are the best in class and they have been proven time and time again that our safety of our residents and our visitors is always our top priority. I cannot emphasize enough how much cooperation it takes among agencies and amongst cities to host these events. In addition to the agencies here today, hundreds of strategic partners, utility companies, cellular services, hotels, transportation providers have also combined their efforts to ensure public safety during the college football championship and related events. And for many weeks, these agencies have joined together in resource working groups, meeting with experts in various public safety fields. These specialized areas include cybercrime, critical infrastructure, protection of uh, uh, also with public health, intelligence gathering, interoperability, and also transportation. And their singular focus is to provide the public with a safe, welcoming, and enjoyable experience at the college football playoffs ultimate event. Our award-winning public safety agencies in Glendale lead these valiant efforts, and I can't say enough how much I appreciate what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. It is my great pleasure to introduce Glendale's Chief of Police, Deborah Black. Chief, will you come up, please? And thank you, Chief. Next, I uh, go ahead and start, and we'll. Move thank on. you, thank you, Mayor. Good morning. As Chief of the Glendale Police Department, my responsibility includes the University of Phoenix Stadium, where the College Football Playoff National Championship will be played on January 11, 2016. The mission of the men and women of the Glendale Police Department is to protect the lives and property of the people we serve. The scope of that mission expands greatly during the events surrounding college football playoff as tens of thousands of people will travel to the area to enjoy all the fun and excitement these events are sure to offer. Our focus is to ensure the safety and security of everyone involved in the championship game. Our planning and preparation efforts, which began shortly after Super Bowl 49, include but are not limited to physical security of the site, crowd control, traffic management, and contingency planning. The Glendale Police Department is coordinating with dozens of local, state, and federal public safety partners to ensure a safe experience for all who attend. We are well aware that while most people see, view this championship game as, as an exciting culmination of the college football season, others may see these events as a high-profile target on a worldwide stage. 
While there is no information of a specific threat to any events related to college football playoff, law enforcement professionals assigned to regional working groups are prepared to effectively manage and mitigate any and all potential threats to events throughout the Valley. The strength of our confidence is founded on the long-standing relationships we enjoy working regionally with partners, many of whom have joined us here today. It is also based on the strength of our collaboration with the Arizona Sports and Tourism Authority, led by Mr. Tom Sadler, and with the College Football Playoff Organizing Committee, led by Mr. Brad Wright. Both organizations have considered the safety of these events their highest priority. As always, we want to remind everyone to be aware and vigilant and to immediately report suspicious activity to law enforcement officials. By all accounts, the city of Glendale, specifically the Glendale Public Safety um, Agencies, have demonstrated on a national stage that we are, that, that visitors can enjoy themselves in a safe environment on our watch. We are ready, willing, and able to assure the same for the College Football Playoff National Championship. Thank you. Thank you. Next, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Earl and Glendale Fire Chief Terry Garrison. Chief? Thank you, sir. Good morning. As a Glendale Fire Chief, I represent nearly 250 men and women of the Glendale Fire Department who are well prepared and ready to respond to any emergency that our customers have. However, due to the progressive nature of our fire-based automatic aid system, we partner with our neighboring cities and our neighboring fire departments to deliver the highest level of EMS, hazardous materials, and um, emergency response in the country. In fact, we have the most robust automatic aid system in the country. With me here today, or with us here today, are fire chiefs from other communities. We work together constantly, so this is just another opportunity for us to serve our customers. Similar to the, uh, the police chief, we've been working with our partners throughout the last several months, preparing our resources, ready to deploy whatever we need to do to make sure that you are treated with the highest level of respect and the highest degree of customer service possible. We have a plan in place, and we have increased our level of resources you will see that the uh, Glendale Fire Department will be participating at the MAC, which is our um, multi-agency coordination center during, before, and after the game with our resource partners. And finally, I'd just like to say that the Glendale Fire Department wants all, our, all of our out-of-town visitors to know that we are here working with our partners, making sure that you have a safe and enjoyable time Really, as much as we want you to enjoy the Valley of the Sun and the city of Glendale as much as we do. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Chief. I'm uh, now happy to introduce uh, Police Chief uh, from Phoenix, uh, Joseph Yonner, uh, here also to say a few words. Sir? Thank you. Uh, good morning. On behalf of the city of Phoenix, we're proud to be involved in the activities in the game and all the associated events associated with the uh, College National Football Championship game. Earlier this year, uh, we had the opportunity to host the Super Bowl in Glendale and a lot of the activities in downtown Phoenix. Those activities generated significant attendance. We had a great safety plan with all our partners, and the Super Bowl went extremely well. Uh, starting Friday, January 8th, and going through Sunday, January 10th, there's a lot of events in downtown Phoenix. Uh, some of them include the Playoff Fan Central, which is filled with a variety of activities, special guests, and exhibits celebrating college football. We also have at the AT&T Playoff Playlist Live in Block 23 several concerts that are free and will generate a lot of attendance. Uh, we have the Media Day at the Phoenix Convention Center. We also will have live ESPN broad broadcasts. And we also have an event called the Extra Yard for Teachers Summit. Uh, and this event is intended to inspire and rejuvenate and educate teachers to thrive in their profession. Uh, as mentioned earlier by both uh, Chief Black and Chief Garrison, uh, we have a great working relationship with our partners. Uh, we've hosted several Super Bowls together, and we are one law enforcement team to ensure your safety uh, and security during these events. So thank you. We look forward to the event. 
We look forward to highlighting downtown Phoenix with the activities that are there, and we really look forward to the game. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, Chief Hunter. Uh, next, I'd like to ask a representative from our federal law enforcement to the microphone if everyone would welcome Special Agent Charge Douglas Price from the uh, FBI. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Sure. It's an honor to stand here today with our public safety partners as we prepare for the 2016 Football National Championship game. The National Championship Coalition works closely with the FBI and our federal, state, and local partners throughout the planning and implementation of our event security plan. We've been preparing for months for the championship game. By Homeland Security Presidential Directive, the FBI will lead a multi-agency intelligence operations center during the event. This is not new to law enforcement here in Arizona, as we did the same during Super Bowl 49, as well as other large events in the Phoenix metro area. We've been reviewing intelligence and information pertinent to the games and other events unfolding throughout the world. At this time, there is no specific or credible threats to the metro Phoenix area or the championship game. However, we will not hesitate to adjust or our security posture as appropriate to protect the citizens of Arizona and the United States. Let me conclude by saying these, these large-scale events are not new to Arizona. Every year we have large events like the Super Bowl, football playoffs, basketball playoffs, and golf tournaments. Because we as law enforcement and public safety community exercise our multi-jurisdictional partnerships every year through these different events, we work seamlessly together to provide an environment of cooperation and safety for the citizens of Arizona. I appreciate all of our partners for the work that they do in our community. And a final note is, if you see something, say something. Thank you. Very good. All right, thank you, Special Agent Price. The two powerhouses that make it to this final stop on the playoff road here to Glendale are undoubtedly elite teams. Now, we have some elite teams of our own protecting and serving the public. And I assure you, come game day, that they will be doing just that, as they did day in and day out here in this beautiful city. We're proud of that our state, valley, and city are among the top visitor destinations in the country, and for sports, we are amongst the top in the world. Thank you to all of our speakers and agencies who have come here today while these professionals will be doing their jobs. We'll ask for the public to remember, again, as he just said, if you see something, say something. It's very, very important. I appreciate all of your efforts in making this game among the nation's top fan experiences. We're excited to be a partner in the college football playoff. We are going to open things up for questions now. If you have, uh, we have many, many agencies here who can fill these questions. Uh, so it'll be pertaining to this issue here today. Uh, thank all of you for coming uh, in. Uh, just over a month on January 11th for game day. So we'll open it up for questions. So the question was, how do we go about gathering intelligence for these types of events and how does this stack up against the Super Bowl? Um, as far as how it stacks up against the Super Bowl, very similar. The great thing about when we did the Super Bowl or any of these large events, we've built the machine, so it just rolls. Everything is in place. We use the EOC uh, that was mentioned earlier, the MAC. Um, and so all those, all those events just kind of roll seamlessly and that's, that, that goes to the partnership that we have here. In terms of gathering the intelligence, um, because we're a federal agency, we have access to the intelligence that comes in from across the country and throughout the world. So we are constantly modern, monitoring that intelligence and looking at the different pieces of information that come in and how they might pertain to events here in Arizona. But there are many different sources of information where we gather that intelligence, including our, our local partners and, and our federal partners. The question was, what can people bring into the stadium on game day? Uh, all of the rules are posted on the website for the University of Phoenix Stadium, or you can go to our website at Glendale's Got Game. Uh, basically, it's the clear bag policy that the NFL uses uh, throughout the year and across the country. We use that at all of the events over there. Fiesta Bowl and uh, the football playoff championship will be the same. Uh, basically, it's a 12 by 12, 6 inch uh, bag, clear bag. Uh, you can carry one small item, like a small clutch or glasses case, uh, small camera case, that type of stuff. As far as screening for game day, it'll be very similar to the Cardinals games, but it will be enhanced. Uh, as you know, this year, the NFL and the University of Phoenix Stadium added uh, metal detectors very similar to what you would see at the airport. So everybody coming in is going to go through what we call a bag buffer zone. Uh, basically, they're checking to make sure you're not bringing things in that aren't larger than those 12 by 12 clear bags. Uh, you'll end up going through a metal detector or through wands. 
Uh, we do have additional screening apparatus out there. You'll see dogs, you'll see some other things out there. Uh, we're not going to give all the details, but there will be a, a robust screening going on. So the question was about cybersecurity, particularly in the events of Paris and San Bernardino. That kind of goes to the prior questions of intelligence gathering. We have a, a robust cyber um, footprint that we work with the, a lot of the uh, federal agencies and the local agencies. So we are watching and, and checking the social media, the different things out there to see what types of, of intelligence and information is out there. So the question was, is uh, our events in Phoenix going to be a lot like the Super Bowl? The answer is yes. You know, we've had working together with the group behind me, we've had the opportunity to do the 2008 Super Bowl and then just one in January, so everything is fresh. We have a template. Uh, the area is almost the same. It's a little smaller this year uh, than it was in January, but uh, the protocols, uh, the security, everything that we're doing from a, a public safety perspective is going to be relatively the same. All right, thank all of you for coming out. Uh, you know, we, we, we've got an opportunity to, uh, to showcase our valley, our state again. And I have all the confidence in the world that we'll do that. So thank all of you for coming out today. Thank you.